I'm like, in my head, it didn't register. But I, I knew something had happened to my head. I didn't know exactly what it, it, it was, but I knew that something like had happened to my head. What is up, Musky gang? What it do? Bolavi, bo swiri swiri, bo baby baby. If you are seeing this, you already know what it is that time of the day where your girl is back again with another video okay another word video okay because why so basically you guys know what this video is about if you read the title of the video right so you know Uguti, i'm about to vent ne? but before i start with the venting ne? let us not waste any time Go right ahead and give this video a thumbs up, comment, of course, we cannot forget to subscribe. So subscribe on the red button down below and don't forget to also share this video with your friends and family and everybody, you know, okay? Because when you like, it helps my channel grow, sis. When you comment, it helps my channel grow, sis. When you share, it helps my channel grow, sis. When you subscribe, it helps my channel grow grows this right so if you want to see it grow baby girl baby girl you must go right ahead and subscribe right thank you in advance thank you thank you thank you without any waste of time we're gonna get right into it because i know you guys are waiting for the tea <laughs> was um i was coming back from church ne? so my church is in soweto and uh currently i'm staying in in josie in Bram, right so yeah i was coming back from church using public transport shabu Cute, how nice, ne? Hmm. Eh, okay. I get into the taxi, I go, and then usually I take two taxis because, like, I don't feel safe in. Ha! Uh... <laughs> Hi, English guys, it's not your mouth. But anyway, Miss Cat, I don't feel safe walking, um, like maybe from the cbd to bram i know it's a very short distance if you know you know that it's a very short distance but i just don't feel safe walking so usually i take two taxis i take a taxi from my church to josie then when i get to josie i take another taxi to bram right so cool same shandies i take a taxi to josie when i get to josie i'm thinking um it's getting a bit late so i don't really trust the one that has taxis ne? because i'm not sure if i'm gonna there's no rank maybe like probably like dahuna ranke for the taxis say i'm copran so you just like find them go starting you know so i thought probably um or something so i decide you know what i'm gonna just get off at brie then i'm gonna take a taxi from brie uh, to auckland park then get out here copram obviously okay cool Sharp. So I, I get off at Brie, ne? corner Brie, like KFC. If you know Brie, you know this place. And in my head, I'm thinking, you know what? I'm getting off here because I want to be safe. I want to make sure I get home in one piece. One And I'm thinking, I, I'm safe. I can look at Brie. Little did I know, sis. 
Yo, I get off of Conagree. Cool. So, after getting off, like, I was on the other side of the road and the rank was on the other side of the road. So, I needed to cross and the robot was still closed and it was still red and cars were busy passing, right? So, we were with a group of people, really. All of us were waiting to for the robot to, to, to turn green so that we can cross. Okay, cool. So, as we're waiting, 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 like, you stand, I'm standing in front of people, like, all of us are looking at the taxi rank. I understand. So all of us are just waiting for the robot. You get it? We just wanna cross. And I'm not even thinking, you know, like when you think of getting mugged or something, you always like, or maybe getting, I always think when a person is gonna mug you, probably they'll come from behind you or, you know, or something. You never think, Kore, like literally right here in front of Pam Gwaban, if anything can just happen you understand so here i am standing in front of, like next to these people and i'm just thinking i'm waiting to cross all of these people why would you stand here obviously you want to cross the road right <laughs> child guess what happened to me um out of nowhere i was out of nowhere there was a guy standing on my on my thingy on my right <laughs> out of nowhere this guy and i was wearing like yeah i was wearing the exact same jacket i was wearing this jacket on that day this guy does this you know and i'm like then i'm like confused because i don't understand i thinking i'm thinking maybe it was a mistake or something because he does this but he's still looking like okay he does this okay and I look at him and then I mise. Okay, cool. And then I step a bit forward, getting ready to cross, you know? And then other people also come, all right? The robot is still red. And then this guy starts pulling my jacket. You understand? He starts pulling my jacket. And then at this point, I'm like, what the hell is happening here? He's pulling my jacket. I'm like, and I'm like, is this person like what's on? You know, what are you doing, dude? He's pulling my jacket, pulling my jacket. And then I'm like wondering why is this man manhandling me? What did I do to you? Leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm like, he's just pulling me. And then I'm like, okay, stop. You know what? I I don't know what's happening here, but all I know is I need to get out of the situation. So I start like sort of like pushing him like off. And he's like pulling. The more I'm pushing is the more he's pulling. And people at this point people start to realize what you know, man. There's something happening with the KLB. You know, there's something wrong. Like he, there's something wrong happening. So people start like he it grabs a lot of attention. People start like staring at us and looking at us. And I think this guy realizes what uh uh I'm to go to Galanda, you know. And then the next thing I know, this guy, so I had like my thingy, my sling bag, ne? but I, I had worn it like underneath my jacket. So it was like in the jacket. Then I wore the jacket on top. You understand? So for you to get to the bag, you need to take off the jacket first so that I take it off. Then you understand? So basically, he. <laughs> I don't know if this guy, I think this guy was trying to get to the bag, but he could see Wuti, there's a lot going on here. You understand? And please guys, ish, yeah, I'm from somewhere. Please excuse like my dirty talk, guys. Give me a gap. So, yeah. So basically, so he could see Wuti, there's a lot going on here and it's the, the situation is complicated. He can't get what he wanted quick, fast, in a hurry and just leave. You know? So basically, as all this is happening, then the robot op um, um, turns green, right? So it's time for us to cross. And then in my mind, I'm like, Bawo, Kandipa Manda, yes. At this point, I'm like, Kandipa Manda, yes. You know, I, I pull up a Samson on God. I'm like, God, can the man look rebellious? Yes. Can the man, you know, like, give me the last strength, Lord, so that I push this guy and I run. You understand? Because I don't know what this man wants. Yeah, when, or, or I don't know if it was I want to or anything. Anything could have happened in that moment. You understand? And the weird thing about this is, this guy, I can keep a spam, I can keep a mess, I can keep a oak up, but. Yeah, I was terrified, guys. Yeah, being too So basically, I'm like, just like, you know what? I'm just gonna push this guy 
and I'm gonna run for my life, right? And as I'm getting ready to do that, I'm prepared, you get. I am ready, you get. Now I have the strength to run, you get. And guess what happens? Guess what happens? I push the sky, <laughs> and as I'm trying to run, Gizwa just like shy more, you can't. Gizwa. I'm like, in my head, it didn't register, but I, I knew something had happened to my head. I didn't know exactly what it, it, it was, but I knew that something like had happened to my head. So like, I'm just like, okay. And then I look back, as I look back, I see this guy, the guy who was grabbing me. And the other guy that was on my left, I didn't even realize with Bahamba Bonke. I only realized Mabakichi, Maogut. Oh, okay. So these people, Bahamba Bonke, you understand? So, like, Ntemang Pege Mover, I see this guy running and he has my weave in his hand. He has my hair in his hands, guys. And he's running. And this other guy, I'm assuming Mamba Bonke because Mabakichi, Mabungba Balege Bonke. So, like, Bakichi my bonk. I'm like, oh my god, what just happened to my life? Like, Ikanda, La Vele, La Shaimoya, guys, Wabada. Thank you. And now I'm wearing, like, I don't know what they call these things. They're black. Um, I think he, I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Buseleona, Ikanda. Luckily, my hair was a mess, but it is being cleaned. I had cornrows underneath. Because sometimes your girl rocks up the weed, like, I just brush my hair down and then I wear that black thing and then I wear my weave on top. Ah, luckily this time I had cornrows. So when that happened, everyone that was like, yo, <laughs> you know, and I'm like still trying to figure out what just happened. And Ngapi, I'm at eggs, you know, like taxi drivers like are not patient with nobody. They don't care about the bumping kunzi. They just want to pass and they will mention it. So I can just start like, you know, beep. I understand who goes on. I'm like, oh my god. Now, like, I, I'm panicking, I'm shaking because I'm like, what just happened to me? I cross, really. And then I'm like, I, I, I can't even, like, I'm not, like, I don't know what happened to me. I'm just like, I had to stop for a minute and just like process everything that had just happened to me. Yeah, well, and so, like, this, I don't, I think it's, 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 it's King Pai there in Brie. Those who know Brie probably will know. Sharp. I stand there by King Pai and I'm like, what just happened to my life? And I'm shaking at this point. I'm amazed, but I'm like, you know what? Okay, girl, they didn't take your phone. They didn't take money. At least you've got money to get home. You understand? So just like go catch a taxi and get home. You'll figure everything else out. Cool. I leave, I get into the taxi rank. I get into the taxi. And as I'm walking to the taxi right now, as I'm walking, like I'm, I'm walking and I just feel tears come running down. Like, <laughs> and it was like, I, I wasn't like intending to cry, but it just happened. I, I just like felt tears running down my cheeks and I'm like, oh my God, thank God for masks because wow, you know, sharp. I get into the taxi rank, I get into the taxi. Um, I sit at the back. And as I'm sitting at the back, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm falling apart. Like, and I can feel myself falling apart. And I, you know those tears that, like, you can't stop them. You don't want to cry. They are just there. They are like, just there. Yo, did I not cry in the taxi, bruh? Like, I cried. Like, I, I literally cried until, like, I had hiccups. I was like, <laughs> in the taxi. And people were just, like, looking at me. And I decided, because, you know, I don't even want to talk to nobody. I just, like... I took out the money, gave it to the guy who was sitting next to me. I think he was Nigerian, judging from his accent. When I gave him the money, he was like, all this money for me? I think he was just trying to cheer me up, guys, because he like it was evident to Guti there's something wrong going on, you know? Like, he, I was crying so bad. Like So maybe I think Nshem, that guy, God bless his soul, wherever he is, I think he was really genuinely trying to cheer me up. Like, all this money for me? Oh, my God. All this money for me? And I looked at and it's like God, Mugai, if you knew like you wouldn't you wouldn't even like this is not the day you understand but yeah man got home safe 
I have to sign in and like the security has to take the temperature and I'm just like all over the place I'm like signing and like crying everything is a mess and my mask is like wait you guys it was a mess that day it was just a mess I was just like crying luckily the security guard didn't even ask me what was wrong I just signed and I got inside when I got into I when I got to my room my roommate was like studying <laughs> when I walked in she just looked at me and I just fell apart. I'm oh, like, uh, yeah. now it's funny when I'm thinking about it. But that day, guys, it was not funny. I was like, just all over the place. I was like crying. I didn't know who to text, who to tell. Like, like I was just all over the place. I, and I was just crying like nobody's business. But after crying, I, I came down and I was like, like okay you know like i was okay i was like okay I, I thank god i'm safe you know i thank god um i'm alive i thank god nothing bad happened to me yes they took my hair but like it can be replaced i just i'm so grateful that nothing bad happened to me you understand but at the same time it's just like it was very traumatic I, like someone can say yeah but like i'm a kumbanga mommy so anything but it doesn't take away from the fact that that situation was very traumatic for me. First of all, and just experiencing that was just like, it was, it was scary guys. It was scary because you don't expect a person to just rock up out of nowhere and just manhandle you. It's like in Pamgwa Bantu, you know, you know what I'm saying? And people around like, I'm not sure if that is, it's because they didn't understand what was happening or what, but no one did anything. No one came to our school to when Zagala, no, no one assisted, no one did anything. So basically, black child, why? you were on your own. Basically, I was on my own. I felt like, oh my God, like it could have been worse. I'm grateful nothing terrible happened. But at the same time, it was just like traumatic. And another thing is, you always hear people about, yo, Pretoria CBD they snatch wigs Jobek, they snatch wigs but you never think that kind of thing would happen to you when you leave the house you don't think today today is the day today is the day they're gonna take my hair you know what i'm saying like and you never think Woody, the person coming or the person standing next to you is just gonna grab your hair and run with it you understand like so yeah i wasn't expecting it it was very scary it was very traumatic for me like it literally took time for me to even leave that like to to leave the house and like go outside because i was terrified when i see a person like walk I, like I was so like anxious like jumpy like because I was I was scared I was still scared I was like I don't even know who's in Jogume like I'm about to cross the robots with me I don't know if you're just gonna turn around and stab me or what you know what I'm saying like it was it, it has been very traumatic walking in the streets has never been the same again for me ever since that day so yeah basically guys this story time was just to tell you what happened to me just for me to empower you know and just to tell you guys if you can avoid wearing your beef go down go to your bag go cbd avoid it Miguel. otherwise otherwise you will cry in the taxi like your girl you understand yeah but i've heard other people saying like ah you should not just wear your weave like that mohamba in town you must wear a cap or a do or something you understand but like yeah i never thought that kind of thing would happen to me because and they like Nothing happened. Not even anything suspicious was low. I think because nothing ever happened to me up until that day. And when it happened, it wasn't even suspicious. I didn't even think it would happen. I didn't even think there's a potential danger around me until it actually happened. So guys, living safe. Love your hair. Protect your hair. Because yeah. Good rough, love apparently. 
yeah thank you guys for watching until the end and we have come to the end of our video today if you enjoyed the story time please give it a thumbs up don't forget to um comment don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share the video thank you so much for stopping by and watching until the end i love you all so much and guys all of you guys who have been subscribing watching and liking and commenting i see all of you guys i appreciate all of you guys and i love all of you guys enjoy the rest of your days i love you so much Mwah.